Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be doing a first impressions and review of the Essence Pretty Natural Foundation. Now this one was released in Australia a little while ago. Of course, the release isn't as good as what some other countries have. So we have a total of eight shades when there are actually 36 in the range. So of course Priceline got eight shades of beige. It is not a good selection at all. The lighter shade available here is 050 Neutral Champagne and I will swatch that for you in a second. It does only retail for $10 and I have been hearing such good reviews on this. If you watch Taylor Wynn here on YouTube, she did a review recently and absolutely raved about it. I trust her reviews 110% so it got me really excited to try it. But let me tell you what it claims to do on the website. So it says that it leaves a smooth and natural long lasting finish. It has a medium coverage and leaves a natural matte finish on the skin. So these claims are really speaking to me and after watching it, Taylor's review, I have high expectations. So if you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of content about makeup for beautiful fair skin and I also have a whole playlist dedicated to foundation reviews that I will link in the description box below. So it comes with 30 mils, which is your standard foundation size. All right, so this is the shade here. It definitely looks like it's going to be a little bit dark for me. All right, so this here is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and this is a shade that I really love. And this is the Essence. So just a smidge darker. I think I'm going to put some lightning drops in it. So I like to use these Astralis Match Maker Lightning Drops. It doesn't alter the finish of the foundation at all. It just makes it lighter. Now I'm not going to put on any primers at all because I just want to see how the foundation sits on my skin naturally. I don't want to be filling in my pores or covering up any redness just so that I can see the true finish. That shade looks better, doesn't it? All right, so I've got a damp sponge here and then on the other side, I am going to use a foundation brush because Taylor did say in her video that she prefers the brush. So let's see how that goes. First impressions, it doesn't have a scent, which is really nice. It is a bit of a thicker consistency, but it's blending out very nicely. Okay, I really like how that is sitting on my skin so far and definitely agree with the medium coverage claim. I still feel like I can see a little bit of my redness and marks underneath, but it's giving a nice coverage, like it's smoothing out the skin. This brush here is the 005 Buffing Brush from Kmart from the OXX range. I feel like the sponge side is giving a more glowier finish than the brush side. Still glowy, but not as much. Look at that. Damn. I find sometimes when using a brush, I would have to go over it with a sponge anyway because you get streak marks, but I'm finding I'm not getting any streak marks with this brush, which is really nice. Let me give you a close up here. A beautiful natural finish. I'm going to finish the rest with my sponge. I just prefer using a sponge now. I used to never apply my foundation with a sponge. I was all about brush life. But now, I've changed. <laughs> How the turn tables. <laughs> the office, anyone? Oh my God. I am watching it again for the third time and I just can't get enough. It's so good. Okay, foundation is applied and I am really impressed. Definitely agree that it is a medium coverage. I can still see my natural skin underneath, but I'm really liking that at the moment. Here's a good example here. I've got a big red pimp and it's still peeping through. And I feel as though it has smoothed out my skin. So if we get a closer look at my nose area here, this is where I have a lot of large pores and I don't feel like the foundation is settling into them at all. It actually looks quite smooth without having putting on any smoothing primer. I like how it's sitting around my mouth. It's not clinging to any dry patches. Wow. Oh my God, it looks so good. 
I probably could have gone a little bit lighter, especially when we're comparing to my neck and my chest here, but that's all right. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got the rest of my makeup on now. First things first, I think it may have oxidized just a little. Like I said before, I thought I needed a few more lightning drops, but I can definitely see now that I look quite a bit darker than my neck. But I'll remember that for next time. As for the finish, it looks perfect. Like, no complaints, seriously. I feel like all my products applied beautifully over the top. I did use a cream bronzer and a cream blush, and I only powdered in like my T-zone area and under my eyes. If we get up nice and close, you can see how smooth it looks in these really porous areas. My cheeks and my chin looks really nice. My forehead. I am really happy overall. So I will continue to wear this for the rest of the day and I will check back in with you later for a little update. All right, the time is now 5.30. So it has been five and a half hours of wearing the foundation. Let's check it out. All right, well, for five and a half hours, I'm pretty impressed. It still looks like it did when I apply it, apart from this pimple here. I feel like this pimple is too powerful for the makeup on top of it and it is just, it's coming through. It wants to make its way to the top. I feel like my skin still looks nice and glowy. Maybe a little bit extra glowy here. I could probably blot that, but it hasn't settled into any fine lines. It still looks smooth. It's not patchy at all. I was even laying outside before and had my chin leaning on a pillow and the makeup hasn't budged at all there either. Okay, well, I am pretty impressed so far. I do usually like to test a foundation for longer than five and a half hours, but this is all I have today. As soon as we stop wearing masks here in Brisbane, I will put this foundation on immediately because I am so excited to test it out again and see how it actually goes for a full day, like eight plus hours, because I have a feeling it's going to survive. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And like I said, you can go and check out my playlist full of foundation reviews. Once I test this some more, I will include it in a speed reviews video, and I'll also talk about it on Instagram a bit, so make sure you come and follow me over there as well. All right, well, that is all from me. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.